Thank you for, for watching this video. We would like to introduce to you People Who Care. It is an organization that we actually just got started and it came out of our personal experience of my father-in-law, Francesca's father, who at some point became unwell and was admitted in the hospital and then at some point uh, there was just no way for him to go home. After conversations with him and the family, we decided that he, that he needed to go to a nursing home. He first off went into one aged care facility and even though my father is quite particular and um, very intelligent, well educated, he found things weren't um, to his liking. Now at first we thought it was my father just having a grumble here and there. But as the years went by, and he went from not one, but five, six or seven different facilities, we noticed that there was a common thread, and it wasn't just my father, it was a culture. And the culture in the facility was that um, they had a certain degree of care, he was in a safe environment, he was being provided with food and, and shelter, so to speak, there was a nurse on call, but what we found was there was something missing. And that missing was the added element of truly caring, um, talking to him in a manner that was um, curious or engaged or interested in what he had to say. My wife went to visit uh, Frank and, and found him in his bed emaciated. Could you tell me what's going on with him? What has happened? And the response of the nurse was, well, you know, uh, Frank, yeah, oh yeah, yes, uh, we know Frank. And uh, yeah, uh, well, he just don't, um, uh, we bring him his food and we put it on the, on the table. And then when we come back, well, apparently he's not hungry because he has not touched his food. I said, did you have a conversation with him? Did you ask him why he is not eating his food? Uh, and she said, well, um, we are very busy and well, apparently he's not hungry. So I realized that no matter what I was going to say, it, it would not make any difference. And, and I looked at her and I said, you know, you really don't care, don't you? They require um, that performance indicators are met. And so all of the attention of the staff goes towards meeting the performance indicator. So uh, we could not see him every day because we live in another state, I have a medical practice. And so um, I thought, well, maybe there is something that we can uh, contribute here, that we can, can provide as a service. And that was the idea of the vision of people who care. That extra element that an elderly is uh, has left their home, their familiar environment, and suddenly they are in this very strange place. Or um, that sense of being at home is just not there. And so this would um, provide that sense of, of belonging. The carers we employ um, come in and engage with the resident and honour the dignity of their, their spirit. They engage with the person whom you know, your family know, and are recognised as beautiful, wonderful people um, from people who care. Come in and and really relate to the person that you know, that we knew of my, that I knew of my father, and and read to him or engaged in conversation, kept his mind active, and these were really important elements that made him smile. We are truly, truly looking forward to getting to know you uh, in conversation, see how we can be a service for you. So thank you and um, I'm looking forward to having our first conversation.